What's going on, guys? Hey, if you want to know what the best entry level cybersecurity cert in 2020 is, stay tuned. What's going on, guys? Hey, thank you for making it to episode five of Techno Channel. Thank you for all the support, all the shares on social media, the comments, the likes. You name it. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for everything. And now, if it's your first time on the channel and you're interested in IT and cybersecurity, hey, go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon button. Now, as you guys can see from the thumbnail, you guys are probably wondering what's the best entry level cybersecurity cert. And honestly, it should be no surprise to everybody. It's the long reigning, the probably the most common cert seen on any cybersecurity application. It's the CompTSA Plus. CompTSA Plus is probably like the best bang for your buck when it comes to an entry level cert. I mean, you'll see it on pretty much any application and recruiters are actually about it and I'm gonna tell you uh, some interesting things about the set plus and then I'm also gonna give you my take on it because I also have had a set plus before. So and by the way guys most of everything that I discussed today the links will be in the description that way you know I'm just not pulling numbers out in there I'm always a guy that like to be about facts I like to be thorough hey so you know, you know what it is guys so listen hey guys so Come to your sec plus. Um, the average salary for the sec plus is around like 80k. Um, they also have uh, basically saying around. I think there'll be an uptake in like 28% of uh, IT security jobs. I think in 2022, I could be getting that wrong. Um, so just paraphrase that. Just know it's going to be an uptake in jobs. Um, the type of jobs you can get with these roles along with their salaries are you got security analysts coming in at 76k averaged around throughout the world security engineers coming in around 90k security managers around that 120 inch mark uh, the CISOs they come in I think like 160 ish and the computer forensic investigators they're coming in around Mark. A little bit more information about the SEC Plus is it covers six domains. You have to know about threat attacks and vulnerabilities, technology and tools, architecture and design, identity and access management, risk management, and cryptography and PKI. So I just covered the six domains that's in the SEC Plus. SEC Plus is also 90 questions between multiple choice and simulation questions the simulations aren't too hard they're pretty much the things that you should learn in your training um, if you were wanting to get training for a sec plus uh, I would advise you to use uh, Udemy uh, IT Pro TV so that's basis basic basic everything on a sec plus I forgot to mention the cost of the sec plus is uh, around I think 340 Sometimes you can get a voucher through your school or if you're a military veteran, sometimes they pay for that for free. Um, and then with your study materials, you're probably looking to spend, spend between three to six hundred dollars, maybe depending on how much study material you need. Um, as my personal opinion on it, I couldn't agree more that this is the best cert that you can get starting off in uh, the cybersecurity world. It will leave you with a great foundation. It's what I got me, my, gave me my start. Sec Plus, and a lot of security professionals have this cert, so they know what it takes to get the cert. Now, it's not super hard, but if you can grasp this information and be able to talk about it in a way that makes sense when you interview, uh, you should be fine. I also want to tell you guys, I've said this plenty of times, I'm going to say it again, just because you get this cert does not mean you're going to walk out and get you a cybersecurity job and make it $80,000. It just doesn't work like that. If it did, nobody will go to school. Everybody will just go pay $300 for a cert and then they'll go get a job. Trust me, I would have did it. But it don't work like that. You gotta, this is like something that helps you get an interview and then you gotta have a mix of soft skills as well as critical thinking skills in your interviews when you're trying to relay the information that you learned from this test. Um, when I took it, I took this test uh, seven years ago I believe it was the 301 version 
I finished the study guide book in like a week and I was doing good on the practice test. Um, so what I would advise you guys to do is take the assessment and the stuff that you're worst at, focus on that first. Make your weaknesses your strengths and then keep on taking it. You wanna make sure you're getting 95, between 100% on the test. You wanna make sure that you're getting those because that's gonna help you. Uh, come to you is kinda tricky. You have to answer things in the way that a CompTIA answer is supposed to be. So that's probably the trickiest thing about the test. It could be different answers, but you have to get an answer that CompTIA likes. And if you can figure that out, then you can pass the test. I believe you need a 750 to pass the test. So it's not too hard. Um, this will definitely help you shine. You'll be surprised at people that are in the field that don't even have a SIG Plus, and it shows. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But um, yeah guys, that's pretty much the basis of the video, short and sweet to the point. Uh, why I believe that SEC Plus is the best entry level cybersecurity cert. And if you like this video and you made it this far, please make sure you share this on your social media. Connect with me on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, bell icon. Do the whole thing. Hey, it's your boy HD, I'm out.